Pero gusto na nating makita ang lahat I'm pretty sure pati yung mga fans Both Blacklist International and Brand Esports The draft is ready, let's go! So right now this is Blacklist International and Bren Esports game number one. The draft is on. Ling ang pin ang binan dito ng item Blacklist International alongside with the Popol and Kupa. Bren Esports on the other hand going for a Claude and a Natalia. What do you guys think? What are the implications ng mga bans na to for both teams? Samo ako dito. If I will be looking at Blacklist International, this is one of the best pick nila na pwede pili. And dasi lina. Kasi this is, uh, ako, I'm always gonna be a fan dito ni Edward. Kasi siya yung somehow enabler eh. Well, Aqua is being too consistent. Some, somehow naman, Riddler, may, he has games na he, he performs so much. Somehow meron din siya, kumbaga ano eh, uh, double edge para sa akin uh, somehow dito si Riddler. But Edward is, and Aqua is the one who's too consistent. Killer. On the uh, off lane, I mean, on par with every other off laners. Pero I think the Selena pick dito ng Blacklist International makes more sense. But Brand Esport dito do have they have the Tamos and as well with the job. Yes, what's your take? Uh, Blacklist International, I guess, pinupunan lang nila yung loss nila on that Natalia na ban coming from um, Ren Esports na kanina ko pa napapansin din na if ban yung Natalia dito, why not go for Selena if ang gusto natin dito is Visions kasi she still got um, her abyssal, sta uh, abyssal trap and pumili pa sila dito ng Dexstar for Kufra and I can't really say anything bad sa pagtatank dito ni Dexstar. So far, Dexstar pa rin talaga one of the best tanks out there. Mga setup and mga pasok dito ni Dexstar. And um, kung nakita natin yung Kufra niya before, talaga ang most of it is on point. Kapag ka napunta yung tides for them, this carry would be deadly. Even with the Esmeralda peak coming from Beren Esports and um, even na Tamus. Pero uh, lason para sa carry, kung mapipick off siya ng isang Jawhead, isang Tapon, kaya kaya DPS, isang trap o isang talon Kaya kaya siya pasukan dito ng Bren Esports And makukuna to eh Yung first 3 picks ng Bren Esports Yes, definitely By, may, may konting pattern no In terms of mga teams na I mean, Specifically yung mga nasa upper brackets Napapansin ko, they pick yung mga formidable na mga offlaners agad Like, like katulad ito, the Jawhead and the Tamos Kanina I think the Uranus yun yung mga isa sa mga Uh, pinaprioritized nila Pero this Bren Esports Having the Esmeralda on their lineup This is looking so strong If you are on the side dito Ng Blacklist International Butters How would you take dito What's gonna be your uh, Ano pa bang pwede nilang iban Would they ban uh, a Marksman And Atlas will be a better ban as well That's gonna be a last year Sure uh, uh... Yung Blacklist International dito, they're keeping it safe. Hindi naman sila dito yung todo talagang mag-roll in sa mga ganitong uh, picks. Mm -hmm. They're thinking about their last two picks kasi doon talaga sila magkakaroon ng adjustment. Right now, for Blacklist International, they're happy with the Selena. Obviously, in the Hoofra, tapos yung carry dito, they have a lot of uh, disables para kahit pa paano mabigyan ng onting tulong tong carry in terms of kills. Well, for the side of Bren Esports, ganito naman talaga kasi yung draft yes. usually na If you're aiming to, you know, protect a panel hero, then you go for these tanky heroes that talagang kaya nila mag ano, kaya nila mag frontline. Pero kasi ang ang kailangan mo pansin nito dito is kung papaano papaano nagreact dito yung Blacklist International. Kumu agad sila ng kasing at tatlong tanky heroes na nandito sa side. So it's one of the most basic reactions that pwede mo makuha for Blacklist International dito. Pero kung sabi dito ng Blacklist International, sige, magulatan tayo. Kung tingin nyo, binasic nyo kami, bibasicin din namin kayo. Kukuha kami ng ano, kukuha kami ng baksha. Tapos doon tayo maglaro. Kasi, isa yan sa mga heroes na kaya magpigil ng mga superior regeneration na meron dito yung side ng brand esports and that will really help them to stop. And mind you, madali pa dito ang hulihin yung Farsa kasi yung gulong niya, pwede ka talaga pumunta ng line agad. Exactly. I mean, that totally countered yung uh, regeneration from the Esmeralda and as well with the Tamos. If, uh, so, ito na, mga kaibigan, nandito na yung draft natin. Let's start with you, Yasu. What's gonna be your prediction para laban na to? Draft-wise, I would like to go for Blackies International. Kung mapapan nila na lang tuluyan dito yung um, carry nila. Pero kasi, yung 1-1 dito ng Bren Esports, kung hindi mo din mapapalakas yan, medyo matatagalan ding lumakas ang 1-1. Hindi siya gaya ng carry na may true damage. Kahit sa unang teamfight, sabihin natin pagagawa ng buff, 
hindi ano eh, medyo magkukulang yung damage niyo as a one one kumpara sa isang carry. Kung i-imagine niyo na may true damage na na passive agad-agad. Pero since nabanggit din dito di Butters yung Vaxia na may parang natural carrier ng mm. endurance kumbaga counter ng Esmeralda, counter ng mga regen effects dito ng Bren Esports. Now, ang question kasi kung mapupull off talaga nila dito para sa side ng Blacklist International. But I'll still go for Blacklist International and hopefully sana ma-execute nila na mm-hmm. maayos. Pero if not talaga, this might be Bren. Yeah, uh, oh. So, uh, safe assume that you're going for blackness dito sa specific game na to. Tama ba? Alright, Butters! Well, how about Obvi- you? Obviously, the safest choice would be Bren. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Sa- sa- safe choice ang Bren. <laughs> true, true, true. Pero we're not going safe this time. Mahilig ako. Medyo nahilig na rin ako sa mga underdogs. Gamble. So, ito na natin to. Gamble na natin. Let's go for Blacklist International. I like the thought process. Although, it's very hard to, you know, uh, to execute, to pull off. Eh, tignan natin. May talent din naman itong mga to eh. Let's go of for Black Horse International. Right now. Yes. So, eto nga, mga ibigay. Unanimous, yung naging prediction dito ng panelist des yun din kaya ang iniisip ng ating mga casters. Alam ko naghihintay na to Kanina pa, Chantel and Midnight. Take it away. Thank you for that wonderful insight, syempre, sa ating panelist. Tani was decision in favor of Blacklist International. Hindi natin expect yun doon na Brand Esports ang kalaban nila for this last and final series for today. At kami po na magiging shoutcasters nyo for uh, this match. Ang sa atin yung Chantel kasama natin si Midnight. So Midnight, ang pinaka-question ko dito, kasi ko maraming uh, may idea talaga in terms of uh, team composition, bakit 1-1 ang pinasok dito ng Brand Esports? Well, aside sa fact na medyo cool lang na yung marksman pool, lo, the only ones left were uh, the, uh, the Granger and the Bruno. Your problem with Granger and Bruno is they're very susceptible to the crowd controls on the side of ano, on the side of uh, Blacklist International. And C11 kasi, may built-in tira pa siya. So, kapit pala nang siya dito ng uh, Blacklist International, meron siyang way para il- iligtas sa sarili niya. So, suddenly, yung, uh, yung ease of execution sa lineup ng Blacklist International, mas mahirap siyang gawin, no? kasi hindi ganun kalihulihin. You know, yung uh, one one. But then again, if magano, if magpatong yung uh, layering ng wow, patong na layering pa. If magpatong yung ano, yung crowd control ng uh, Blacklist International, dun sa window na nagamit na yung purify ni one one. Ganon pa rin naman yun. Mas rewarding pa rin yung play for the side of Blacklist International. That's why I understand the uh, panel uh, favoring the line of Blacklist International. K- kasi mas rewarding to eh. Mapatay mo lang yung one one. You have a natural way of dealing with the Esmeralda. Pero problem is, mas madali nga lang i-execute yung lineup ng Bren Esports. Okay, so uh, speaking of that, first blood aga dito for Blacklist International Car Control is real. May sinabi mo na, at kaya din naman hindi mo pagkakaila kung bakit Blacklist International dito ang abinoto natin yung panelist. Kita nyo naman, coming from afar, yung uh, ano dito, yung abisal araw ni Edward. So alam nila kung saan pupunta dito yung Bren Esports onto this match. And surprisingly, for Bren Esports, wala silang hard attack so more on dami na ito pa rin sa late game they have yeah. the 1-1 on their lineup marami silang fan zone out dito so mataas ang chance ni Cardi actually na magbato ng kanya nga mga arrows and actually go for an ultimate Yeah, eto yun eh no, eto yung nagiging uh, go-to ng mga play, mga teams natin kapag wala ka ng uh, tanks. Teka lang, mapapatay na naman si Coco. On the top lane, that's gonna be another kill here for Blacklist International. So going back, uh, si Lasterito, he is playing the Jawhead. So eto yung go-to tank na mga teams kapag wala na tanks. Kapag nagkaubusan na dahil si Grok, ay uh, hindi na ganun kataas yung priority. Kasi again, yung, ano, eh, yung, uh, passive, yung passive niya is na-nerf uh, on a recent patch. Na, mabilis na mag-update, may mga times na akala mo. Inin ka, pero hindi na pala. Nawala yung, ano, nawala yung uh, aggression na pwede mo makuha sa isang crack. Now, with the jawhead, dahil doon naka-pull yourself together si Lasty Rito, no? yung uh, aggression naman ng Brent Esports, it's definitely, it's definitely amped up. Tapos, pwede kasi lang sa. So, you have two supports on the side of Brent Esports that can control over the early aggression and can come up with it. Pero, masin, top lane, huhulihin na naman nila si Coco. No? Although, hindi enough in damage nila, the very least, it's gonna secure the tower damage in the top lane. Ayun, sorry na akat kita doon kasi actually yung reaction na yun para doon sa kay Edward kasi for this match lahat ng abisal araw niya so far tumatama pa talaga so oh. 100% ang uh, asintado dito ang isang ayan. asin na ayan na 66 na 66.7 <laughs> na, na, narinig tayo pinahiya tayo na anyways for Blackless International having si Lino in their lineup sobrang laking factor na agad for them kasi for Brent Esports hindi nila alam basta magagaling dito yung Selena or yung abisal araw dito ng uh, Selena and uh, gonna go late guys for Blacklist International sobrang ganda for them knowing oh, na meron pa silang uh, marksman on their yeah. lineup pero anyways so last game dito ay nasipa lang naman and a kill here for Riddler ng Black International 
Yeah, again, teacher is on the side of blacklist. Yung, uh, yung mga crowd control sila. It's gonna allow them to play very aggressive. And meanwhile, nakakapag-farm naman ng payapa si Ridder on this carry. And funny enough, no? Pili ko nakangiti yung coach ng uh, Brand Esports ngayon, si Coach Dari. Dahil gamit na gamit yung Veteran Hunter, tsaka Retribution. Pero ang advantage dito, again, nasa side ng Brand Esports. Kasi si Wan Wan, he has a built-in uh, Purify to sa hero niya. Oh! Dexter with the jump in kay Rebo. Tinamahan yung parsa natin. The Purify has been used. Pero nagahabol pa rin si Aqua. Papapatay pa rin siya ng Cho. And this is what we're talking about when we said the layering of crowd controls. Kahit mag-purify ka, ang daming ano niyan, ang daming pang force out niyan eh. Uh, yung talon lang ni Kupra, kailangan may purify. Kasi masisenta pa ka ng ulti. Yung knock-up ni Cho. And may si Papa. Oo, oh, kumbaga dun. Hindi na talaga nakatakas. Si uh, Rebo, nakapag-purify siya, pero nandun pa rin yung ASO and Cho to, go, to uh, kill, to secure the kill for uh, Black Nacho, which is a very good thing. Dahil dyan, 4-0 agad, at score para sa atin laban ngayon for Blacklist International, nakasira na sila na Torres sa top lane. So, uh, gaya na sinabi natin for Blacklist International, ang ganda ng ginagawa nila dito, minamaximize nila yung uh, ganking capacity ng team composition nila. Top lane side, nakakuha sila doon bottom lane side, meron din silang ginagawa rotation for them. And nahihirapan dito yung mga first damages ng Brent Esports. And speaking of, a Bezal Arrow, that is again, going to be a successful kill for Blacklist International onto this match and another third as well for their objective. Nako po, delikado ang Bren Esports Baka makaisa ang Blacklist International dito And padalok sa bit, Pew! Being kicked here by the Cho Purify is there that, come, that, that came out from the Esmeralda Pero ganito nakakatakot yung lineup ng Blacklist International no? Very aggressive And look at the item of Cho Already building up to the sea Halbert, hindi play the despair yung binubuk to Direct na siya ng sea Halbert Para siya yung ultimate counter dito kay Pew Ah, uh, automatic. Buti ka napansin mo yun kasi actually for your other Cho uh, users, talagang uh, kinukuha nila agad. Minsan is uh, BOD na agad para instant burst. But anyways, for uh, this Cho, nakaredy na agad pang counter kumbaga for uh, this brand esports. And it's deadly for uh, this Blacklist International Squad. Pagka nakakapatay sila, dumediretso sila na objective. Look at the second turn na rin sa bottom lane ng brand esports. Naka nakabawas na agad dito yung Blacklist International. So imagine, for every time na mag-rotate dito ang Blacklist International, dumediretso sila for the red push. May hirapan dito yung 1-1 na Bren Esports na magkaroon ng goal pero Card C is always is still Card C hindi natin na mapagkakailayan so for Bren Esports kailangan lang talaga masihira nila dito yung rotation na ginagawa ng Blacklist International Next Star with that the face check Card C nakaredy lang din naman pero dito oh not your nagkakita na, abyssal arrow hindi lang din naman tumama may kagsarisa din sila buhay dito para killer nakabangga lang din naman and dito natin Dito, last team with that, and check us out those top players, pero airstrike, good from Primo. Oh, buhay pa! Buhay pa! That's a Basha, again, yung, yung mga magic damage, hindi malaking problema yan for killer, no? And interestingly, interestingly enough, si Fiu dito, ang binili niya is yung Wizard Boots, yung cooldown reduction. So, wala siyang masyadong pang defense sa physical damage at kinagamang from Blacklist, no? Dexstar, with the flicker out, will be able to save himself. So, Brand Esports, they're not able to find anything. And sa ganitong klaseng lineup, it feels terribly bad. You have a Thamos, you have an Esmeralda, and you have a Farsa. It's so bad to play this lineup defensively. Kasi, na naturally, itong mga heroes na to, gusto sila yung aggressor. Oh, tsaka dito kita natin yung uh, isang tama lang yung combo dito cover from uh, Aqua or this show ng Blackness International. Ang laki na agad na bawas dito for this 1-1. Sabi natin sa 1-1 may pantakas siya. Pero kapag ka nakatakas siya kahit dun sa second niya, pag hindi ka i-stain na uh, HP niya, automatic kilagad for Blackness International. Speaking of objectives dito na ginagawa ng Blackness International, Ejector has been popped. Nako naiwan dito si Kuya Dexter natin ng Blackness International. Pero nandito na ang Blacklist International Back up, card C, flicker in for Edward. Oh, 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 wala pa damage yes wala pa damage dito and sayang pero kita natin dito yung instant kick off na kaya gawin ng Blacklist International this is not the Brain Esports sa rotation or gameplay na nakita natin and a kill for Aqua on this show oh my goodness seven zero currently for Blacklist International walang top one top one Etong Bren Esports, they are yet to claim an aggressive play on the map. Pero it's all Blacklist International, and I do think na yung ano no yung sabi na panel kanina. If all Bren Esports had the upper hand on the draft, I think Blacklist International they just had a better overall draft closer. Dun sa Basia, 
Ito, Chico. Kasi it provided what Black Rational needed. Yung Ben Esports, naipit lang sila. Even though maganda yung uh, Samus Joy for first two picks, tapos sinundan nila ng uh, Esperada. It's, it's a good hero against Kufra and Selena. Problem is, hindi nila naisara na maayos. Yes, tama ka dyan. Kita natin dito for uh, this Selena. Ang laking bagay na ginagawa niya. Pero ejector na naman para kay Kuya Lasty natin dito on that joint. Pinabako na ni Killer dito. Dexter magagalit sa likod with Tyrus Rage. Pumasok dito si Goko. Ginamit na ka ng contract Inferno. Kasi hindi enough damage dito. Come from Bren Esports. And mapipilitan sila to back away. This Blast International. Grabe yung zone out na ginagawa nila. Edward. Grabe mag-abisal arrow. Pero from time to time, meron talaga siyang tatami tatamaan. Ang taas ng uh, sniping capabilities yung paga. Yep. And ngayon, ang pinakamalaking dilemma ng Bren Esports, yes, you have a 1-1, you have a marksman that can deal against the uh, heroes of Blackness International, International. Kasi kapag nagpin ulti niya, malaking problema pa rin yan. Pero yung carry na rin, remember, pumupunit yan ng kahit sinong hero. Esmeralda, Mapa Jokhead, Mapa, ano, Mapa Tamos, kayang-kaya yung kaya patayin. So Bren Esports, the only, uh, the only uh, light na nakikita ko sa, para sa kanila, is the combination from the Esmeralda as well as the Joint para mapatay si Riddler kasi walang purified si Riddler dito eh pero th then again, ang problema naman ni Fiu is hindi si Esme, si Aqua Oh, oh. and actually for Bren Esports, ang problema din nila grabe yung pumasok si Dexter kaya napipilitan ni Dizzy Lasty na siya yung ejector tapos hindi, or si Killer at tapos hindi mo burst dito ng Bren Esports yung mga tankers but anyways, for Bren Esports they, they need to break this uh, zero score actually Pabalik din sila sa group nila kasi mali yung pack sila nakakapatay Kasi pag hindi sila nakakapatay parang nagkakaroon na effect Most probably sa uh, attitude nila towards the game Pero uh, anyways, for uh, this Blacklist International Agad na pinapakita nila ngayon, top farmer for this match Is this carry with this 8k gold And problem here for Bren Esports Wala talaga sila solid tank and carry kila natin na anti-tank Yeah, gusto ko itong ano, gusto kong ginawa ni Cho no After nung Component to si Halbert. By the way, hindi niya kinumpleto yung si Halbert. Yung component lang na may HP uh, region reduction yung binili niya. Then he went straight for the Blade of Despair. Tapos kinumpleto niya yung Raptor Machete. Kasi mag-farm at mag-farm lang sila dahil meron silang carry. Just secure the farm para sa late game. And mag-scale ka towards the damage output ng show. Pero ito, that's the team point. Pa happening, you, Multic, mapatay. Was able to use the Purify para makalis sa clutches ni show. Pero again, hindi pa nagagamit yung Sipa. Killer, still alive dito sa may revitalized regen ng the HP. Lost. Doon sa skirmish na yun, Rebo with a third airstrike din naman si Edward Pero not enough damage to take anyone down on the side of Blacklist International Kulang pa, kulang pa midnight dito yung damage ng Dexter! Pero si Dexter dito, talagang sobrang tapang na! Diba kung baga, alam nyo din dito kasi na wala ng ultimates come from Bren Esports Kaya pinapasok niya from time to time And for Bren Esports, ito yung kasi ng line-up na gawin na sila yung unang pumuy position Pag meron lagi ng bubulo na Kukfra, mahirap agad yun Pero anyways, and check ko rin dito habang nag-lord, wala na buhay si Killer Pero yung nga lang Cardsy, napatay nga si Rita! And Killer, napatay dito ni Cardsy Grabe, pinapakita na dito, flicker out para kay Dexter Nakpo, it's gonna be a triple kill for Cardsy on this match Oh my god! Plus a Lord Objective! This Bren Esports, ito yung inaantay natin na kill ng Bren Esports. Pero when they kill, may kasama pa silang Objective. And ako dito, halos wala na buhay, napilitan pang mag-licker out. Oh, this is very oh bad god. for Blacklist International. Yung pwesto, yung pwesto ni Kari. Look at Cartesi in the middle of the fray after taking down the Kari. Nakahuli siya dun sa may bandang damuan. And asan yung mga pumoprotect na sa kanya? Naghiwa-hiwalay si Killer. Nandun sa harap. Si Aqua nag-aharap ng target. Si uh, Dexter dito. Yes, kanarin niya si ano, Kari. Pero that's not the hero that uh, the Kari will be joining ano, joining aside, di ba? Kasi nag, ano, din yan, nag-aharap din ng setup yan. So dapat, oh. may katabi lagi si, ano, may katabi lagi si uh, Raider. And that that enabled Cartesi to fight one v one against the Kari of Blacklist International. Grow with the cards, literally the bullet factor. The one we wanted to get one kill from Bren Esports. They lagged again for the Lord. I'm going to show you the map now. Ladies and gents, all the minion wave is coming at the side of the Bren Esports. This is the perfect opportunity for Bren Esports. Actually, they are the ones who are going to get the goal. Koki ito, uh, ano rin, ag na rin, and last, tinakatago lang dun sa may bush na kabang ko siya. Pwede hulihin, kaya sinabi natin, unstable force para sa kanya. Pero makatakas din naman dito si Edward, at sa may top lane natin, Purify has been popped here by few. Grabe, nawala na yung control ng Blacklist International. Bren Esports, they're, they're outmaneuvering 
the uh, squad of Blacklist. Top lane and bottom lane yung sinashove nila dito. Hindi nila binibigyan ng space para makalabas ng base. Rebo with a feather airstrike hitting Ritter once lang naman. Pero si Ritter dito, kailangan niya na ingatan yung pwesto niya. Isang tanong lang from Carl TZ. Edward on the backline si Tiramani. Carl TZ nag-proc! Yung kanyang ultimate and that's gonna secure two kills for Brent Esports immediately. Carl TZ with a built-in purify. Napatay pa si Cho! Baited was Aqua. Sunod muna si Dexstar. And Ritter is left alone. Brent Esports. They have made him possible to come back in this game from 7-0 to 7-7. Mukhang tapos na to, Madam Shantet. Oh, but kidulat tayo, Brent Esports. Literal, slowly but surely. We have here Riddler giving monster kill para kay Carsey. Walang minions! Walang minions! Walang minions! Walang minions, guys! Pero, it has 5 seconds back from the point, Mr. Edward. And that is it. What a game! Turn it out of events! for Brain Esports on this game number one. And this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you show signs of weakness, when you show signs of error, at kapag binigyan mo ng malit na butas ang mga professional teams, they will pummel through. Brain Esports 7-0, 6,000 gold deficit, isang team fight lang, pinanalo ng Nailaro. What a game, what a game. Yung talaga yung una ko, yung talaga yung literal na ano ko doon, masasabi ko, what a game. A uh, nice performance for uh, Cardsy kasi eh, no pati niya yung carry to nagtuloy-tuloy. For Blacklist International, nasobrahan lang si Gukuro sa pagiging aggressive to the point na naiwan nila yung carry nila gaya na sinabi mo na wala na taga-protect. Lahat sila naka-ready to advance. Unknowingly, yung uh, pinaka-heater nila or yung uh, damage per second nila na hero is napatay na pala. For, Bla uh, for Bren Esports, doon natin may kita na talagang one step at, at a time kung may window of opportunity, Grab it, and uh, that's uh, that's it for uh, this uh, game number one. Yeah, this is the reason why we picked Brand Esports 1-1 over the uh, Bruno and Granger.